Hi everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button below and click the notification icon to get the updates. In today's class, we shall go through pipe schedule method as defined by NFPA 13. The pipe schedule method is the oldest means of determining the pipe sizes of the sprinkler system and defining a very broad single water demand for each occupancy hazard classification regardless of the size of the sprinkler system. As you can see on your screen, pipe schedule method can only be used for the following three points. Number one, additions or renovations to existing pipe schedule systems. Number two, new systems that are 5000 square feet or 465 square meter or less pipe schedule method can be used and for number three new systems greater than 5000 square feet or 465 square meter where the flows required are available at a residual pressure of 50 psi at the highest sprinkler elevation then the pipe schedule method can be used in this slide we shall go through water supply requirements for pipe schedule sprinkler systems. As you can see on your screen, table 11.2.2.1 shall be used in determining the minimum water supply requirements for light and ordinary hazard occupancies protected by systems with pipe sized according to the pipe schedules of section 23.5 that shall be discussed in the later slides. Pressure and flow requirements for extra hazard occupancies shall be based on the hydraulic calculation methods only. Pipe sizes for the light hazard areas. As per NFPA 13, pipe sizes shall be in accordance with the table as shown on your screen. As we can see, for the steel pipes, if we have two sprinklers, we can use one inch pipe and if we have three sprinklers, we can go for one one by four inch pipe that is 32 mm and if we have five sprinklers or we can say up to five sprinklers, we can consider 40 mm pipe that is one and a half inch pipe and for 10 sprinklers, we can use two inch pipe and so on. For example, I will show you on screen by drawing a sample pipe with the sprinkler for example we have upright sprinklers here and uh, just a moment now this is the end cap for example this is my main line Okay, this will be my main line and this will be the branch line and these are the sprinklers. Now, once we have the routing of the pipe and the distribution of the sprinklers based on NFPA 13, we can define the pipe sizes according to the pipe schedule method for example if the area we consider here is an office then it will be coming under light hazard occupancy in light hazard occupancy we need to start from the end as you can see for two sprinklers we can use one inch pipe so this will be one sprinkler so here one inch pipe can be used and for the second sprinkler also as per pipe schedule for the light hazard we can go ahead with one inch pipe so this will be one inch and this also will be one inch pipe okay and here this will be the third sprinkler so for three sprinklers the pipe size shall be one one by four inch so for two sprinkler one inch and for the third sprinkler this pipe shall be one 
1 by 4 inch or we can say at 32 mm and up to 5 sprinklers we need to consider 40 mm dia that is one end of inch pipe here we have only four sprinklers so for the fourth and fifth sprinkler we need to use 40 mm dia that is one one by two inch so here we have only four sprinklers and for five sprinklers or the fifth sprinkler we can go ahead with 40 mm dia that is one 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 end of inch and if from 6 to 10 sprinklers we need to use 2 inch pipe and from 11 to 30 sprinklers we need to go ahead with 2 end of inch pipe and from 31 to 60 sprinklers we can use 3 inch pipe and for 61 to 100 sprinklers we can consider 3 end of inch pipe or 4 inch pipe okay in this slide let us go through pipe sizes for the ordinary hazard areas as you can see on your screen as per NFPA 13 table 23.5.3.4 shall be used in order to define the pipe size based on pipe schedule method for ordinary hazard occupancies. For extra hazard occupancies pipe schedule method cannot be used however there are some exceptions as shown on your screen. The piping schedule shown in the table A.23.5.4 is reprinted only as a guide for existing systems. New systems for extra hazard occupancies should be hydraulically calculated as per NFPA 13 and cannot be used by pipe schedule method. In next class, we shall go through hydraulic calculations for sprinkler systems in detail. I hope you understand the concept of pipe schedule method. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure to hit the subscription button below and click on the notification icon to get the updates and to learn more about fire protection systems.